today we will talk about winners and losers in the Arctic. This means a competition between the animals. Yes, there have been competitors between the years with animals. Animals have been fighting for space, food, water, and space for the cubs. So this has been a race competition. Well, now at the Arctic, there has been one and has been declared the winners and losers. If you are bowhead and you spend summers in the Arctic, congratulations! Life is good, your food supplies is growing and the waters are warming. Your, food, your summer vacation lasts a few weeks longer now than it used to say. Say back in 1980. Because there isn't as much sea ice and doesn't form as early in the fall as it used to. The sea ice is thinner too. That's why there's more food to you. The tiny plants you eat, called phytoplankton, need sunlight to grow. Since there's less ice, the sunlight can shine through the water better. So more phyton, so more phytoplankton. Also, you are discovering some of your long lost relatives. Bowhead whales who live on the Atlantic Ocean side of the Arctic are meeting up with bowhead whales who live in the Pacific side of the Arctic. Arctic. You guys have been separated by Arctic ages, by Arctic ice for eons, but now that a lot of it is melted, you are free to mingle. You dear whales are definitely winners in the warming of the Arctic. But of course, yes. where there are winners, there are losers. Yeah. Condolences to the polar bears though, you guys are having a tough time of it with the shrinking ice. Where are you supposed to sit while you eat the meal you have caught in the water? Where you can rest if all the ice chunks are melted? After all, you are not fish that can swim in the water all the time. You are not whales either. You need sea ice to get aground, to hunt, to find a mate, and in some areas, make a den and have cups. Of 19 groups of Arctic polar bears, 7 are losing members. Scientists don't have enough data yet on ice is melting. It's likely that the polar bear will continue to struggle. So why do we talk so much about the Arctic these days? While the overall temperature of Earth is rising, temperatures in the Arctic are rising to two to, time, to three times faster than temperatures farther south. This situation is called Arctic amplification. Why does this happen? As you may know, light color reflects more sunlight than dark colors. That's why people are more comfortable in light color clothing in the summer. In the same way, sea ice reflects more sunlight than does in the darker ocean. As the sea ice melts, there's less white to reflect the sunlight and more dark to absorb it. So the ocean gets a little warmer and more sea ice melts and the darker water absorbs even more sunlight and heat. And so it goes, in what scientists call a positive feedback loop or vicious circle. This means that because of the climate change, greenhouse effects of Earth, it had caused the ice in the Arctic place to melt. Polar bears are now struggling to live. Most of them are losing their members. So these are why scientists are talking about Arctic to save them. So what other living things will be winners or losers in the Arctic? Scientists are keeping a close watch on condition in the Arctic. It is a clear indicator of how rapidly Earth's climate is changing. This will depend on NASA watching and observation. Scientists will also have to discover ways how to save ex the, the animals that are in danger of extinction after the climate change. So I hope that you will have many ideas more and goodbye.